Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a beautiful and warm-hearted girl. One day, when her mother passed away, her father remarried another woman. This evil-hearted stepmother had two daughters just as evil as herself. Her stepmother and stepsisters treated her very badly. You cannot sit with us on the same table. You cannot sit with us. Oops! The glass fell down. Hurry and clean it up, Cinderella. While they were out and having fun, she had to stay home and do all the dirty housework. Everybody at home used to call her Cinderella. When she got tired, she sat down in front of the fireplace, placed her cat on her lap, and tried to warm up with the dying fire. One fine morning, they received an invitation from the palace. A big ball is going to be held at the palace in honor of the prince, and all the girls eligible for marriage are invited. While the stepmother was preparing her daughters for the ball, Cinderella was unwillingly helping them. You have to be the most beautiful girls in the ball. The prince must like you. Why can't I come? All the girls eligible for marriage are invited. Really? Is this the outfit you're going to wear to the ball? When the day for the ball had arrived, all alone at home, Cinderella couldn't help her tears and started crying. Right at that moment, a bright light appeared in the chimney. Through the bright light appeared a beautiful fairy. Cinderella could not believe her eyes because this fairy was her mother. Mother! Hello, my darling. I came to help you. You too will go to the ball at the palace. Really? But how? With my little help. Now you go. Get me the biggest pumpkin from the garden. And you, Kitty Cat, hurry up and fetch me seven mice. With one magic touch, the fairy transformed the pumpkin into a beautiful horse carriage. She then turned her magic wand to the mice. One of the mice became the driver and the other six turned into beautiful white horses. Now it's your turn. I look like a princess. But mother, I do not know how to dance. What if the prince asks me to? With these magic shoes, you will be the best dancing girl at the ball. You must have a dance with the prince. Oh, but don't forget, my dear. The magic will be gone by exactly midnight. Therefore, you have to leave the ball before the clock hits twelve. Thank you very much, Mother. I will come before midnight, I promise. Mother, will I be able to see you again? I'm always by your side. When Cinderella entered the palace with her elegance and beauty, suddenly all the heads turned towards her. Even her stepsisters could not recognize her, and of course, the handsome prince was mesmerized by her beauty. The king and the queen also were very fond of Cinderella. Now that's what I call a princess. Prince immediately asked Cinderella to dance. Cinderella was floating on the dance floor thanks to her magic shoes. The stepmother and her daughters were speechless by her beauty and full of rage with their jealousy. Cinderella was so happy, she could not feel how fast time had passed and completely forgot her promise to her mother. Suddenly, the clock on the wall caught her eye. It was almost midnight. Leaving the prince standing there, she ran down the ballroom stairs, and right when she was running, one of her magic shears slipped off her foot. But there was not enough time to turn around and pick her shoe up.
Running after Cinderella, the prince found her shoe lying on the stairs. Find the owner of the shoe as soon as possible. If necessary, travel the whole country, but find her. The men traveled around the country, knocked on every door, and allowed every young girl to try the shoe on. But the shoe did not fit anyone. Until finally, they arrived at Cinderella's house. Both the stepsisters tried the shoe on. If you push a little further, it will fit. Yes, yes, my daughter's feet are a little swollen because she's very tired. But the shoe did not fit either of them. The men said that their captain had seen another girl inside the house. There's another young lady in the house. As soon as Cinderella put on the shoe, the men knew that it belonged to her because the shoe fit her foot just perfectly. You have to come to the palace with us, young lady. Our prince awaits for you. The prince's men took Cinderella to the palace. When the prince saw Cinderella, he immediately recognized her and was very happy to see her. He went down on his knees and asked her to marry him. Will you marry me, my princess? Immediately and with great pleasure, Cinderella accepted the prince's proposal. And they lived happily ever after. But so how did it happen that my shoe didn't lose its magic? I'm always by your side. Of course. Oh, mother. It was you all that time.